This is a new version 12 of Timer Pro for the iPad. You can see up at the top here it says version 12. The main difference is we've added a new option at the top here called a new template. This allows you to design your own templates directly on the device and edit existing templates as you wish, again directly on the device, before everything had to be done in Excel and downloaded to the device. In addition to the new template, we've added some new features to the Select Template option right here. If I select the Select Template, you can see we've now given you some samples that you can use directly as soon as you download the package from the App Store. So if I, for instance, pick up the Sample Pick and Pack, I can say Use. I go to my Create New Study and call this my Demo 1 and click on the OK. It will bring the time study up and I can then immediately start making entries by touching the start button down here. And since we've got a predefined sequence here, all I have to do is hit the time button. And as I do it, the time for each of the activities will be recorded here in a cyclical manner. And notice also on the right here, we have a rating keyboard and a quantity keyboard to make it easy for you to capture the performance rating as well as quantities. The other new option in the select template area is to share your studies. Down here you can see we have the share button at the bottom here. So you select a particular study, you just touch the share button, you can send it via email or you can share it via Dropbox. We're going to send it via email, give it a couple of seconds and the email will be presented to you ready to send, let's say, back to your central office. The main area though is up in the new template area. This is where you can come in here. You can start developing your own templates directly on the device now. If I bring up a source template in Excel, you can see here that the keys represented on the iPad, the elements represent the data that's in the element sheet. Here I have my header option, which is a header sheet, my subject option, which is a subject sheet, my data option, which is a data sheet, and the notes option, which is a notes sheet. So everything you can define on an Excel sheet, you can actually define now directly on the device here. You also have the option here to select as a basis for your new template, an existing template. And you can see we can click on the select button here and it will bring up the templates you have available to select from. So if I select the picking one here, which is the same as the one you see in the background here in the Excel sheet, I select my picking and just say that I want to use that right there. It will place that right in here and I might want to rename it and I can call it Apps pick. I click on the update button here and the new template name at the top will be changed to the pick here. Then what we can do, we can start going through it here. So I can click on my elements button down at the bottom here. And what you see here is a representation on the iPad screen of the data defined on the Excel sheet. So you can see get work order, get pilot travel to first location, get work order, get pilot travel to first location. And what's happening over here, the column D here, if I go up a little bit here, you can see that is our format column. So this is saying it's clerical. Clerical is what's causing the green color to come up here. Maintenance which is causing the cyan type color to come up here. Travel is causing the purple here. If I don't put anything, that will just be the default yellow here. And you can see I can scroll all the way down here. Everything I have on the Excel sheet in the background, I have inside my elements area here. Now notice also we have the ability to arrange elements in subcategories. For instance, here's my other here. And you can see my other over here and it's involving meetings, talk to supervisor, talk to colleague, say trash and so forth. Here's my other on the iPad and you can see here I have these subcategory of elements down here. And they are represented by these little dashes here, which means I've moved them to the right here to make them subcategories. So in here you're able to define up to 300 elements here. If we go to the subjects area here, you can see I've got up to 10 pickers here. And if I come back out of my, uh, if I come back out of my elements area by hitting the cancel button over here, and I go to my subjects button here, you can see I've got picker one through picker 10. And of course I've got options to add and edit, delete, move them up and down and go back here. Same if I go over here to my header here, you can see I've got different uh, categories here. I go to the header over here and, and there you can see my task department shift warehouse. Whatever's in row one, task department shift warehouse has become my available options here. 
and of course I can edit those. If I want to pick a particular category, let's say I'm looking at the warehouse here, I click on the button up here and I select the category I want to work with, the warehouse, and it will bring up the main side one, side two, byte one, byte two, byte three. Everything is defined here. Again, you have all the editing tools here. If we go to the data at the bottom here, I make my way back by clicking the back button and I can go to the data option over here. And again, you'll see the same format. Whatever's in row one, the quantity, aisle, the clear, and the rack is defined right here. I select the button over here and then I can go and say the aisles and it presents to me all the aisles I've defined here. And again, you can edit all of those as required. And I'll use the back button here and then I'll go to the notes over here and you can see we've got some standard notes. I select the notes from here and you can see whatever's on the Excel sheet has been transferred down. Now, of course, now we're on the device, so you can change any of those as you wish right here. Additionally, you have a screen configuration option, and here you can tell it how many columns you want to have on your data collection screen, how many rows you want to have on your data collection screen. You can set the font size for the buttons, the font size for the data. You can tell it whether you want to display a rating and quantity keypad, and auto start on click, auto stop on click. In many warehousing situations, you might want to set it to auto stop on click. In other words, you just touch the button when the activity ends here. Our default is always auto none, which means you have to make a selection, hit the time button. But as I say, in the warehousing and distribution industry, many people will set the auto stop on click as the default here. So what we have here is we have the ability to allow you to configure any of the characteristics you study. And then from here, we can go directly to the do study down at the bottom left hand corner. And it will bring up our study on here and we can hit the start button and start collecting the data as we're making our way through the study. Going back into the new template again, I want to point out another key feature. Previously, uh, we had a separate product for time study and sampling, Timer Pro and Sample Pro. In the new version 12, we've now combined the time study and the sampling. So I just make a selection of the sampling here and I say my settings. So here I can define whether I want a random sampling, a fixed interval sampling, or a user-defined sampling. In other words, the user samples whenever they want here. For the random, you can see I can set up whether I want to work in minutes or seconds. And I can say the average time, the minimum time, the prompt time, how long they're going to get prompted for, and the warning time, when we're going to issue a, a warning beep to them from the device here. If I go to the fixed interval, of course, I've just got a sample, whether I want to sample, in this case, every 30 seconds, or I might change it to minutes, and it would change the value here. So I could say I want to sample every five minutes, and I would get a sampling every five minutes. So the key thing here is now we have available the options to allow you to define time studies and sampling studies within the same program. So these are the key new features that we've added in version 12 of the Timer Pro Time Study for the iPad.